Coming up next on Golf America. We're taking a look back at some of the best golf courses we featured in 2018. Located a mere six miles from Beaufort, South Carolina, is a private, gated island that is nothing less than a slice of heaven. It is where centuries-old live oaks draped with Spanish moss captivate the senses. Where the ebb and flow of tidal marshes provide the perfect backdrop as all of nature unites to become one. It was on this land that noted golf course architect Tom Fazio carved out a gem of a layout. Named after an old cotton dike that surrounded the side of the island, the cotton dike course at Dato Island Club opened for play back in the mid 80s. And after an extensive renovation in 2011, the Cotton Dyke course has once again become one of the finest golf courses in the Low Country. It's a golf course, it's a combination of holes along Tidal Marsh and Parkland holes. There are seven holes on Cotton Dyke where the, the Tidal Marsh directly influences the play. And you move in and out of that as you play the golf course, which makes it very interesting. I think the key thing with Cotton Dyke is placement, particularly off the tee, so that you're hitting the second shot or the approach shot in from the right location, and then certainly placing the ball in the proper spot on the green. It's uh, not necessarily a real long golf course, but positioning is extremely important. Another unique aspect to the Cotton Dyke course is the way course designer Tom Pazio created the greens, both in size and in shape. We've got some very large greens, 14 and 15 in particular. This green here on 18 is relatively small, so it's a variety of greens. You don't see the same size on every hole, which is, which is kind of nice. It adds to the interest of playing the hole in the golf course. Fazio's placement of the bunkers throughout this golf course not only adds to the character of the layout, but also the challenge of playing it. Renovated the golf course in 2011 and redid some of the bunkering just to give it some additional character. And with its five sets of tees, you can choose just how much of a challenge you would like in your round. For the very good ball striker, this layout plays to just about 6,800 yards and features a course rating of 72.9 and a slope of 136. When you're at almost zero elevation, the golf course definitely plays longer than the yardage and the wind can make a huge difference, particularly in the afternoon when it picks up because there's so many holes along the, along the water. On the front side, hole number four is a great par four. Though not long in length, it still presents itself as a good test of golf. Again, a position hole, put the ball in the right location. It's about 350 yards from the black tee markers. The green here at number four is relatively shallow and well protected. And going long here could cost you a stroke or two. Number eight again is another really good short par four. It's along the tidal marsh all the way down the right hand side of the hole and very wide driving area. The green angles differently so it's right up against the bulkhead and so you have to hit a, a good second shot. But good second shot you'll make birdie. Fifteen is the hardest hole on the golf course. There's no water. It's a long dog leg par four right relatively tight. Got to hit a little bit of a cut off the tee ideally would be perfect. Difficult green, very large green and a lot of uh, challenging hole locations. And then number 16, the next hole I think is a tremendous par three from the back tees. It's 187 yards, all carry over water. The Tom Fazio designed Cotton Dye Course at Dato Island Club in Beaufort, South Carolina. 
just one of two incredible golf courses you can enjoy as a member of one of the Low Country's premier golf communities. Thank you.